Swiss banks that accept US clients. Six Swiss banks in Switzerland 2021. Swiss bank account opening is not easy for investors resident in the US. Only a few Swiss banks can onboard US investors legally. Don't leave your investment success to coincidence. In this video, I will give you the names of the best six Swiss banks that accept US clients. I will give you little known and secret insider information on how to open a Swiss account from the US online and 100% legal. This part, the Swiss private banking industry is known as secretive and non-transparent. I show you how to pay 50% less banking fees, how to make more money with your money and how to be 100% tax compliant. You will discover the most frequent mistakes of US investors. You will learn from the mistakes of others. This insider information is very, very important to you. It can make the difference between protecting your life savings for generations to come or losing everything you have overnight. Stay tuned. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. Hello, I'm Enzo Caputo, the international Swiss banking lawyer, the owner of boutique law firm Caputo and Partners, and the founder of SwissBankingLawyers.com, the blog where successful business people find tips and solutions how to better protect their assets with Swiss banks and how to pay less tax. Can US citizens have Swiss bank accounts? Yes, they can. If they fulfill their tax reporting obligation with the IRS and if the Swiss bank and the Swiss asset manager have an SEC license in the USA, the best Swiss bank account for foreigners will make your tax reporting obligation with the IRS very easy. Since the start of the COVID-19 crisis, Swiss banks are collecting new record numbers of new money coming from the USA, coming from Asia. If your money is in a secure private Swiss bank, that means that your wealth is out of the influence of the system at home. The best asset protection plan brings your assets out from the influence of the authorities at home to the most secure banking country on the planet. Protect your money from aggressive lawyers, former business partners, greedy spouses and other lawsuits. The foreign tax, the foreign account tax compliance act, better known as FATCA, stopped tax evasion with Swiss bank accounts. Having a Swiss bank account is legal, but hiding money is not. You have to report your assets to the IRS. Having a Swiss bank account is 100% legal if you fulfill the tax reporting obligations with the IRS. Due to tax evasion in the old days, the US government imposed Swiss banks to disclose account controlled by US persons. Swiss banks will ask you to fill the tax form W9. The best six banks that accept US citizens will take care of your tax reporting obligations. They will take care of it. Their bank statements are IRS compliant from day one. They will prepare the form 1099 summarizing your earnings. This additional US tax reporting service provided by our partner institution will give you peace of mind because you will be 100% tax compliant. Banking in Switzerland is an excellent idea to better protect your money from greedy spouses, aggressive lawyers and rapacious creditors in the USA. However, according to US law, Swiss banks and Swiss asset managers accepting US clients as clients must have a license with the SEC, the Securities and Exchange Commission. US law requires a discretionary asset management agreement with an external asset manager. That's absolutely imperative. According to US law, you have a Swiss bank account in your name with the Swiss bank. Simultaneously, you must grant a limited power of attorney to an external asset manager for managing your assets on a discretionary basis. There is no way around that. Opening a Swiss bank account means much better protection for your money and other advantages such as geographic and currency diversification in a stable 
financially strong and safe country. With multi-currency accounts offered by Swiss banks, you will reduce exposure to the US dollar, achieve more globally diversified investments and protect your money from US lawsuits. That's basically the most important advantages. Most investors take Swiss bank accounts for protecting the purchasing power of their wealth. Since COVID-19, it's possible to open Swiss bank accounts online by video call. Online by video call. You need a passport copy, a short resume for composing the background profile. Furthermore, Swiss banks check the source of funds. Very important. They follow the history of money. They want to know how you earn the money. They check your personal background, your business background and the background of the money coming into your account. They don't like transactions. This is an investment account. It should be an investment account. The funds must be there for wealth management and investment purposes. And now comes the best part. I will give you six names of Swiss banks that accept US citizens as clients. The six best banks accepting US clients are Bank Big Day, 4805. At 1805, at that time, Napoleon, the emperor, was alive. At the times of the Napoleonic Wars, the bank was formed during the Napoleonic Wars. Since the COVID-19 crisis, the Swiss private banking industry is booming. Big Day is opening new offices in New York and Shanghai this year. Bank Big Day is a well-capitalized with a tier one, tier one capital ratio of 20%. Julius Baer formed 1,890 in Zurich. The Julius Baer Group achieved a record high net profit. Also because of the new incoming assets because of COVID-19. Bank Von Tobel formed 1,936. Due to COVID-19, Fontobel increased their business because of strong demand through digital channels. Fontobel has an excellent IT platform, one of the best. Bank Safra Sarasin formed 1,841. Bank Safra Sarasin has a very high tier 1 capital ratio of 31.3%. Union Bank Privé formed 1,969 and EFG Private Bank formed 1,873 in Lugano under the name Banca della Svizzera Italiana. All the six banks have an SEC license. As a US resident and applicant, you are obliged to engage in one of the 40 SEC licensed asset managers. There is no way around. And now I will disclose very important advice. This is a very practical and proven advice resulting from my activity as a banking lawyer. Do not engage with an asset management company controlled or suggested by the bank. Choose a fully independent asset manager, which is not controlled by the bank. You need an independent asset manager following your own interest exclusively. To comply with the US law, the six Swiss banks created their own asset management companies, but they are not independent because they are fully controlled by the bank. An asset manager controlled by the bank is in a conflict of interest situation. We fight for your money. He's not independent, as simple as that. They will try to sell you the financial products of the bank. Here is the takeaway. By doing so, you eliminate all the risks connected with conflict of interest situation. An asset manager exposed to a conflict of interest situation can destroy your wealth overnight. It can go very quick if you have the wrong asset manager. Let me tell you a real story. I have a client who engaged an asset manager controlled by the bank. This greedy and bonus-driven asset manager convinced the client signing high-risk stock options contracts. The intention of this Wild West banker and product pusher was not to act in the benefit of the client. His primary goal was only one, the goal of collecting a super bonus from the bank at the end of the year. Within two years only, only two years, he burned, he destroyed the value of a portfolio from 60 million euro down to 20, 25 million euro. Within two days only, he destroyed 35 million euro, while my best in class asset manager made up 5 to 10 percent profits with conservative investments in the same time period. Making a good choice, choosing an independent and best in class asset manager is super important for you. If by coincidence you put your money in the hands of a wild west banker, you are at risk of losing everything you have on the account overnight. We have a top best-in-class asset manager with SEC license for US clients. Last 30 years, he made 11% performance on average per year with a portfolio with a minimum amount of 40% shares. Now comes the best part. 
as my best in class asset manager has already substantial amounts of client money placed in the custodian bank, he agreed institutional pricing with the bank. Therefore, he's in a position to offer much better pricing to the clients, to you. If you go directly to the bank, you will pay at least a double. Unbelievable, but that's true. How much is the Swiss bank account opening minimum balance? Due to more detailed and extensive background checks for non-resident clients, Swiss banks increased the Swiss bank account opening minimum balance. They increased the entry balance. Swiss banks no longer are no longer hesitating about refusing account applications that not pass the smell test. Once upon a time, anyone with a suitcase full of cash could open an anonymous numbered account without disclosing the real identity. The Swiss banking secrecy in combination with anonymous bearer shares of Swiss companies has been the atomic bomb for hiding money. Not anymore. During the past two decades, Swiss banks became more and more selective with non-resident investors. Each Swiss bank has a minimum amount of assets that need to be in the account. Let's have a closer look at it. Let me give you some examples. Barclays Bank and GP Morgan Switzerland, they have a minimum balance of 15 million. They ask for 15 million Swiss francs, minimum balance. Credit Suisse and UBS are asking from 3 to 5 million minimum balance. Non-resident investors with a starting balance of 500,000 to 1 million only are at risk of being rejected. At least they will face difficulties with opening a Swiss bank account. Don't worry, we have a solution for smaller non-resident clients for you. As our external asset manager have already special deals in place with the custodian banks, our best-in-class asset manager can open accounts with a starting balance of only 500,000 only. So we can start with 500,000 only. If you go directly to the bank, Bank Fontopo, for example, will ask you for a minimum yearly fee of 4,000 Swiss francs. If we can make the introduction to the bank, you will pay less and you can start with a starting balance of 500,000 only. Here is the takeaway. If you are a relatively small investor having a start balance between 500,000 and 1.5 million Swiss francs only, you should come to us. Your account will be open for sure, even for smaller amounts of money with starting balance of 500,000 Swiss francs only. You will pay at least 50% less in banking fees and your portfolio will be professionally managed by a super best in class asset manager who gets results. He will produce results for you, for sure. He will grow your portfolio step by step. Before choosing an asset manager, ask for the results he achieved in the past. Watch out. Many asset managers will show you an Excel sheet with a good looking chart. Do not accept a simple Excel sheet. Everybody can provide. Ask for original bank statements of real existing clients and verify the performance. If you like this information, please show it to us and give us a like. Press the like button. It costs nothing. If you have a comment or a question regarding the minimum balance, please leave a comment in the section below. If you think the minimum balance request is unfair, please leave your opinion in the comment section below. If you like more information just like this, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel now. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell. By doing so, you will be alerted when a new video comes up and you will never miss a new video. What to do, what do Swiss banks look for before approving the account? Before approving or rejecting your bank account application, the Swiss bank will check first your personal background profile. They will verify your identity based on information available in public domain, in the internet. Before starting your application, you should make sure that there is no negative information on the internet about you. Check if there is something bad on you in Google, public scandals and legal proceedings are considered as a red flag. Within the first level screening, they want to be sure of not dealing with a criminal or politically blacklisted person or sanctioned person from a sanctioned country. They check all types of lists such as sanctioned country list, OFAC list, terrorist lists, etc. Swiss banks are very careful with accounts in the name of politically exposed persons, so-called PEP accounts. Governmental officials, former officials, politicians, generals, admirals, agents and related people are exposed to a higher risk of corruption. 
even if substantial time has passed since the applicant was somehow related to governmental officials, then most likely the bank will refuse the applicant. The second issue Swiss banks pay attention to is the source and history of funds. How the funds have been generated has not only been explained and justified, but also documented with appropriate and genuine documents. You need genuine documentation. Don't try to fabricate a missing document. Don't do that. A simple receipt with a fabricated data can be sufficient to be refused as a client. Swiss banks want to make sure that the client is absolutely transparent. They like a transparent client. If you sold a villa, made an inheritance, traded in stocks or sold a company, the bank will ask for a whole bunch of documents. One is originated with 100% legal activities such as money originated with 100% Sensitive activities such as adult entertainment, nightclubs, construction, commodity trading are considered as sensitive activities. If the client is not rejected because of being involved in sensitive activities, the banks will increase the level of background checks tremendously. It takes hundreds of years to build up a reputation, but only one day to destroy it. That's the reason. Swiss banks are protecting and defending their good reputation. There should be no track record of any wrongdoing at all. Therefore, they like to work with intermediaries like us. Swiss banks like to work with people they trust. They like if the client have already been filtered by professionals having experience with account opening, assembling and presenting the documents in the right way. We know exactly what Swiss banks like to see. Sometimes we convince clients to not mention certain activities triggering the attention of the bank. By engaging an intermediary like us, you tremendously increase the chance of getting your account opening application approved. If you are rejected by the first bank, we will find another bank which has more appetite in onboarding clients. 90% of our customers are not in a position to tell if a bank is safe. They are influenced by external marketing activities of the bank. They see the brand and they go there. But it does not mean that they made a good choice. The larger the bank, the bigger is the bureaucracy. If you have an important transaction, the approval for such transaction can take weeks with the big bank. You will pay at least the double in terms of banking fees. Choosing a bank is an important decision. The average duration of a bank account is 17 years. The average time for matrimony is less than 70 years. As the Swiss private banking industry is not transparent at all, making the right choice with the right Swiss bank and negotiate attractive fees can be a daunting challenge. Especially smaller investors with a starting balance from 500,000 Swiss francs to 5 million Swiss francs will not receive the attention they deserve from the bank. Smaller investors will receive a better service, a much better service, based on our introduction. Each bank has their own pro and cons. We will explain how they fare from each other. The best choice depends on the client's needs and expectations. Whatever bank you choose, make sure to understand the bank's pricing. Commissions and fees can be very different from bank to bank. The market is not transparent. The market is very intransparent. Some banks expect that the client is making certain investments, which are more in the interest of the bank instead of in the interest of the client. The bank may say, we give you a very low commission, but you have to invest at least 3 million Swiss francs in our structured product. Therefore, it's always better having a trusted advisor on your side when you are going to negotiate banking fees. Insider information just like this cannot be found in universities, in libraries and not in the internet. If you like information just like this, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel now and ring the bell. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell. By doing so, you will never miss a new video. If you need a very secure bank, call us now. We are happy to start immediately with Swiss bank account opening. We will introduce you to the best Swiss bank for foreign clients and to a best in class asset manager who will grow your portfolio step by step. We never lost a client with our best-in-class asset manager. Our clients are happy because they make money step by step, year by year. If you have a very confidential question you would like to discuss with me, 
Grab your mobile phone now and dial 0041-4421-24404. It's never too early to protect and diversify your assets, transferring a big part of your assets to Switzerland. Bring your money out of your country of residence before your country will take the money out of you. Be rich and stay rich. Have a wonderful day.